You must have tasted and loved the oranges throughout your lives. But have you ever tasted the mandarins? Yeah, how do you find it tastes sweet, sour, or a mixture of both? Well, one more fact about mandarins is that they are smaller than oranges. Yes, they are small and these dwarf oranges are easy to peel off and brighter in color. It is a citrus fruit that is native to Asia, while China is considered as the largest producer of mandarin. They are grown in tropical regions and could be high up to 25 feet. However, as they are small in size, mandarins are only 40 to 80 millimeters and can rot soon in cold weather. So, when the soil of hot regions meets under the ground with fertile fruit, a tasteful journey begins there. In this tasteful journey, you will enjoy how these dwarf mandarins are cultivated and crafted for better and juicy fruit, and how they are processed for long-term uses. So, hitting the subscribe button is a must. For mandarin orange farming, agroclimatic needs should be observed. Though they can grow successfully easily, but still require proper care and nutrition. The region must be chosen as a frost-free, hot tropical or subtropical area up to 1,500 meters above MSI, where rainfall must be around 100 to 120 centimeters and the temperature should be from 10 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. With a good drainage system, light and deep soils with 5.5 to 7.5 pH play a flourishful effect on the orchard. In large-scale mandarin orange farmings, soil tests are a must as calcium carbonate concentration can cause damage to the growth badly. The harvesting begins in April and October. However, their peak season for harvesting could differ from variety to variety. Whether you have a broad, spacious place or a limited orchard, mandarin oranges can grow successfully anywhere if kept in good care. Moreover, their harvesting only needs a little machinery, but requires labor to do so. And guys, do you have any idea how much labor? Well, that's a huge number as the trees of this fruit are the carriers of heavy quantities and one needs a huge number of labor to pick every ripened fruit from the tree. So what do you folks need for this purpose? Well, it's just a ladder, a large cutter, gloves and bags to put mandarins in, and you're all set to harvest. Workers climb up to the ladder and hand picking begins. One needs to cut off the fruit with a little stem on it as the stem helps the fruit stay fresh for a long duration. Cut it with a soft touch. A soft touch to the mandarins causes no damage to the fruit, and the dwarf oranges remain fresh and juicy. As often fruit is harvested for juice purposes, it is important to pick them without damage, especially when we talk about Florida. 95% of oranges are farmed there for juice. Doesn't it sound juicy and mouthwatering? Let us know from where are you watching us and what type of oranges you have in your surroundings. Well, after picking them from the trees, the mandarin orange process begins. They are all taken to the packing house for further procedures to accomplish. In the big containers, they are all washed away, causing the removal of the natural coating that keeps oranges fresh. However, to keep them away from rotting, they use beeswax, which costs them so much. There, the mandarins are packed according to the varieties and kept for a few hours at a specific temperature to keep their durability and life. From this stage, they are kept according to their purposes. The ones that are for whole use are taken to the marketplace and are open to normal consumers while the others are transferred to the factories to be kept out for the juice. And the further tasteful journey begins from here. However, some factories process the oranges 
for jams, nectars, and pulpy canned oranges. But these processes also need some specific procedure to go through in the factories, as they need some preservations and pulp also has to need two to four minutes to inactivate the enzymes. However, cow manure can cover up this bed effect as it is a good source of organic materials such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and these are the essence of the plants. Furthermore, cow manure is suggested by many agri-experts. According to those legends, the application of 100 pounds of cow manure in three divisions plays miracles against weed seeds and pathogens resulting in fewer small trees. Healthy mandarins can be grown both ways by purchasing rootstock or from seed. Moreover, it is necessary to provide the plants with a proper drainage channel of three to four feet deep, along with digged slopes around each plant. However, planting season and spacing have still maintained their importance. Why surprised? I guess everyone knows the fact that mandarin orange can be grown by both vegetation methods and by seeds. Whatever method you choose, planting season grabs all heed. As monsoon approaches, July and August are considered the ideal months. Sprouts nourish from the end of January to the first week of February. 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters is the casual pits in the square system with a space of 4.5 to 6 meters. Though mandarin oranges require a critically scheduled watering in their initial years of planting. However, the flooded conditions of irrigation often cause diseases such as root rot and collar rot. So high frequency with less watering is considered ideal and gives better results. In this regard, micro-irrigation systems always come up with good retention while the circumstances become critical for the fruits and friends also keep in mind that usually citrus trees always require more water than other fruit trees. Anyhow, this is also important that water need varies from soil type to selected area. Taking care of and pruning the tree is also an essential part of this orchard. Though these plowings, weed control, and spading are the old and traditional ways, however, they always give better results. To overcome the weed problem, chemical ways with the weedicides such as deron, simazine, or glyphosate are the best options. Simply to nourish a healthy garden, shoot up to 40 to 50 centimeters from the earth level must be detached. Perfect pruning gives you the perfect outcome. But the question arises, what perfect pruning is? Well, perfect pruning is to segregate the dead weeds, damaged branches, cross twigs, water suckers, and dropping branches. Branches must be spread to all sides equally. And finally, mandarin oranges are all set to harvest. Don't forget to pop up the like button. Finally, the procedure is complete. And after packing accordingly, they are all set to be in the market. I hope you enjoy the mouthwatering travel from digging up the ground to pulp in the cans and serving on your tables. For more similar videos to enjoy, join our wonderful farming community and enjoy different tasteful travels. Until the next video, stay safe and farewell.